is the Honorable Mike Defensor. You are recognized, Mr. D uh, Honorable Defensor. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to uh, our dear colleagues, uh, Alban Sultai, the Honorable Jimenez, mm -hmm. for their statements on this. Kasi po, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is not for our consumption, pero sa consumption po ng public. Yung po ng ating mga banko, uh, katulad po nagkaroon tayo ng krisis, uh, una pa pala, ang banko po nagpapautang sa mga tao at sa mga korporasyon. At batay po doon, nagbabayad yung mga korporasyon at banko sa kanila. Pag hindi po sila nakapagbayad, nagiging non-performing loan. Di po ba? At pagka ito po'y talagang tuloy-tuloy na hindi nakapagbayad, binigyan ng batas ng ating Kongreso at Senado, pumasa sila ng batas ng Special Purpose Vehicle. Ito yung pinag-usapan na SPAV. Na kung saan ang mga loans na hindi gumagalaw, yung mga utang na hindi gumagalaw, inilalagay dito. Ito po'y binibenta ng may diskwento. Kung ang pinautang sa iyo isang daan, hindi mo na mabayaran, ibibenta doon ng 50 pesos. At doon naman po nila aayusin ulit. Pwedeng bayaran ng original proponent, in this case, the Lopez family, or pwede lang ibenta sa kung saan kung di na humabayaran. So, ganito po yung nangyari. Na ang sinasabi dito, nagpautang ang DBP ng kung sa, kung sa kung saan saan kumpanya at negosyo at umabot po sa hindi nababayaran. Siyempre, pag hindi na ako nababayaran, ang DBP ngayon, inilagay niya na sa special purpose vehicle. Ngayon, no, ang una kong katanungan, kasi sinasabi po natin, nakakatakot po ang sitwasyon natin ngayon. Yung Philippine Investment 1 and 2, yan po ang local partners o itinatag ng Lehman Brothers na siyang bumili ng mga loans. Ang Lehman Brothers, so, kung di ako nagkakamali, nagsara noong 2014. Kung di ako nagkakamali, no? So ito pong dalawang kumpanya na to sarado na rin. Ang sinasabi ng DBP, wala na sa kanila yung dokumento. And of course, ang Lopez uh, Group will have to supply the documents. Bigyan natin ng oras para mapakita yung mga dokumento. Pero malinaw naman no, na meron kayong mga existing documentation. Dahil para yan pumasok sa special purpose vehicle, idinadaan nyo po sa Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas para pubahan. Ang una kong katanungan, tama po ba, Attorney Ajong? Are you related to Congressman Ajong? Your cousin. Yes. Well, I just want to ask, Attorney Ajong, di po ba bago kayo payagan na ilagay ninyo yung mga non-performing loans? In this case, about 9 billion, tama po ba? Please uh, speak on the record, Attorney Ajong. Yes, Your Honor. It's uh, 9.55 billion. 9.55 billion. Bago po nyo inilagay yan, Mamaya ho ako magre-rewind ah. Look, doon muna sa nangyari. Di po ba dapat nagkaroon kayo ng certificate of eligibility sa lahat ng loans? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we should have uh, received a certificate of eligibility from the BST in order for us to avail of the incentives under the law. Doon po sa mga dokumentong hawak nyo ngayon, ano pong mga loans ang pinayagan at binigyan ng certificate of eligibility? Meaning, again, not for us but for the public, pinayagan kayo na ibenta nyo yung utang na yan sa special purpose vehicle. Ano-ano po ang mga kumpanya na pinayagan para magkaroon ng certificate of eligibility? Out of the four uh, companies subject of the resolution, two were covered by certificates of eligibility while two are not. Ano po yung two na pinayagan? Uh, these are Central CATV, And Yan po ang Sky Cable, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, Bayan Telecommunications. Bayan Telecommunications. So yung pong dalawa binigyan na Certificate of Eligibility. Yung dalawa pong hindi. Uh, these are Maynilad Water Services and Ventress Holdings Corporation. Ang Maynilad at Ventress ay walang eligibility. Uh, wala po. Paano pong nangyari? Again, thank you, Attorney General. I'll get back to you. Um, uh, Hube, may I ask you, tama po ba kasi kayo po yung nagbibigay ng Certificate of Eligibility sa inyo pong records? Sino po ang may Certificate na Eligibility ng mga kumpanya? Yes, the BSP issued a COE for um, Biantel. Bi Biantel, sir. Isa lang sir, po? Sir, um, sir the, yung sa CATV po kasi... Uh, I under, there was no um, COE 
that was issued for uh, CATV, Maynilad, and um, Ben Press Holdings, sir. Ma'am, di ba ho requirement ng SPAB law na kailangan binigyan yun na dapat ng Certificate of Eligibility? Sir, prior to the issuance of ACOE, the bank, in this case DBP, has to submit to us a master list of eligible NPAs. And based on our due diligence review, if those, uh, so if some of those do not qualify in the sense that it does not become eligible as defined by the SPV Act, no COE will be issued to those accounts, sir. At Ms. Kube, pagka po hindi nyo pinigyan ng certificate of eligibility yung kanilang sinumite, hindi dapat ipasok sa special purpose vehicle. Hindi dapat ibenta ng DBP sa kahit kaninong kumpanya. I understand, sir, that the SPV Act has uh, the COE as one of the requirements within with, prior to the enrollment of DBP to the SPV. Thank you, Ms. Kube. Ang katanungan ko lang ho, medyo naguluan lang ho ako no, sa inyo, bayante lang ang pwede. Uh, sir, based on available records, a COE was issued to Bayantel. Pala po at hindi kasama ang Sky Cable. There are no records, sir, pertaining to the COE issued by the BSP to DBP pursuant to RA 9182 for the following, Maynilad, CATV, and Ben Press Holdings. So sa inyo pong records sa ngayon, and that is official? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, kasi po kayo under oath, no? so anything you say may be used against you. So sa, sa inyo po isa lang. In the case of uh, DBP, ma'am, bakit po dalawa? Uh, Central CATVs, uh, Your Honor, was listed as Philippine Home Cable. Philippine. Hindi ko po naintindihan. Bakit po sa kanilang record so hindi kasama, pero sa inyo po dalawa? Uh, yung pong sa COE, yung Central CATV was listed in the Certificate of Eligibility as Philippine Home Cable. Okay, so therefore... Is in, in, in your opinion, Ms. Kube, kung ito po hindi nabigyan ng eligibility, hindi dapat ipinasok sa special purpose vehicle? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. At kung nangyari po yun, ang ginawang yun ay illegal. Uh, I suppose so, Mr. Chair. Would you know, Ms. Kube, ano yung amount na pinasok na hindi binigyan ng certification? Uh, not at this time, sir. I will have to recheck and... Uh ask for the necessary clearance to provide this committee with the said information po. Thank you, Ms. Kube. But more or less, Ms. Adjong, doon sa binanggit ni Ms. Kube na tatlo lang, ay isa lang pala. Yung pong tatlong yun is about 1.4 billion pesos at a time of 206. Tama po ba? The OPB, total OPB, uh, Mr. Chair, was uh, 1.6. 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion. So, Ms. Adjong, in your... Kasi gusto ko lang iklaro, Mr. Chairman, yung mga nakaupo pong opisyalis ngayon, including Mr. Herbosa, hindi po sila damay dito. Wala po silang alam dito, wala silang ginawa dito. Ito yung nangyari 14 years ago. At kung anumang aksyon nangyari nung panahon na yun, hindi po kasama yung mga kasamahan nating opisyal sa ngayon ng DBP. And I'd just like to clarify that. In your opinion, Mr. Jong, illegal po yung nangyari na ginawa ng DBP. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh... No, Mr. Chair. Uh, Without certification? Mr. Chair, uh, if there's no cert certification, certificate of eligibility issued to a, an account, it's still a regular transfer but without the tax incentives under the law. Under the SPAV, SPV law, Mr. Chair. The DBP can still transfer all its rights under a loan obligation, but without the incentives of the SPV Act. Can you put that in writing, uh, Madam Chair? I mean, uh, Mr. Chairman, that opinion? Because, again, I go back to BSP. In all transactions, just not the, not just the Banco, I mean, the Department Development Bank of the Philippines, yung mga private banks po, required sila na mag-submit ng kanilang mga uh, cert for certificate of eligibility. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the SPV, uh, Mr. Chair, provides for the application of the COE for the eligible NPAs to the BSP. Sir, if I may just uh, jump off from what Attorney Arjong said, the SPV Act also provides for a tax incentive. I think that is where Attorney Arjong is coming from. I agree, Ms. Kube, but ang sinasabi ni Ms. Arjong, legal yun. Wala lang silang benefits. Ang sinasabi ko, hindi. Dapat the BSP should first allow it to be eligible for SPAB. 
Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, our position is that the uh, transfer of the accounts not covered by COE, uh, the transfers are still valid uh, under civil code, but without the tax incentives under the SPV Act. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So if you can just put Mr. that... Uh, honorable Defense, I'll just remind you of 10 minutes. You consumed your first 10 minutes. I'm done, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. So if you can just put that in writing so that we can... Uh, the committee can look into that because medyo delikado po yan kasi papaliwanag ko lang po ano, especially for the government banks pag kami non-performing loans ka nakipagkuntsabaan ka kasi nangyari po dito Mr. Chair maraming mga negosyante ang sila mismo nagtatayo ng kanilang special purpose vehicle so yung utang nilang isang daan bibili ng 50 na special purpose vehicle lulusot na po sila tama po ba? I would not be able to confirm that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Now, pangalawa pong question, just to be, just to put this on record, di po ba itong Lehman Brothers na bumili nitong inyong loans? Hindi po yan ang mother Lehman Brothers. Tama po? It's a Lehman Brothers Asian Investment uh, Limited. Tama po, Asian. At yan po, binuo sa Cayman Islands. Yes, Mr. Chair. It's And we know that the Cayman Islands, ginagamit po nila yan para itago ang maraming korporasyon at maraming nilang galaw dyan ibinubuo. I would not be in a position to confirm that, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Now, I will rewind. Re rewind na po ako, ha. Di po ba ang lahat ng loans kinakailangan may collateral? I ideally, it should be, it should have collateral. Ideally, it should have collateral. Ang sinasabi ko po dito, Atty. Jong, bago nyo dalhin sa special purpose vehicle, bago nyo ibenta, yung pautang ninyo, titingnan nyo muna yung collateral. Kasi pag hindi siya nakapagbayad, kukunin nyo yung collateral. Tama po ba? The collateral serves as a second way out, Mr. Chair. The first That is the out, first way. The first way out, Mr. Chair, is the cash flow. Of course, of course. Cash flow, collateral, pagkatapos mo, pagka wala na talaga, hindi na makapagbayad, doon ka lang papasok sa special purpose vehicle. Pag talagang walang-wala ka na. Tama po ba? Under your legal process. We can also file a collection case, Mr. Chair. Yes, But file a collection case. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Ang sinasabi ko lang po, last resort palate ang special purpose vehicle. Kasi wala na, hindi na kayo makasingil eh. Kaya bibigay nyo lang special purpose vehicle. The premise, Mr. Chair, is that all of these accounts were already NPA as of that time. Thank you. So I'm very happy that Attorney Jong, in fact, is taking an aggressive position towards the loans. Ano pong collateral meron ang Maynilad nung binigyan nyo ng loan? Isang billion po yan. Mr. Chair, for the specific details, we would need to refer to the loan agreements, but based on available record, uh, may need that... Uh, no, you don't need to go to the loan agreements because the legal services, your particular department, before they allowed this to go into SPAV, made a study. So pagdating pa lang po sa board minutes ninyo, makikita doon. So I'm asking you again now, what was the collateral for my NILAD. Nasa records niyo po yan. We have to confirm, Mr. Chairman, uh, the specific details of the uh, of all these transactions. So, when you made the recommendation to go to SPAV, hindi niyo po nakita yan? Siyempre, bago niyo po sabihin, ibenta niyo na sa SPAV, sasabihin niyo muna, katulad sinabi mo, Atty. Jong, dapat kolektahin natin yan. Dapat mag-file tayo dyan. Di ba? Bago tayo magkaroon ng ano, I mean, Mr. Congressman Chanko is a very good businessman. He knows this process. Our chairman, the Glipay family, are, uh, they have their own business and they know the process. Pag hindi ka na makapagbayad, ikukol ang iyong collateral. Tama po ba, Tornia Jong? That's the process? You were saying? In, 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 yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. So what was your collateral? Uh, for the specific accounts, again, Mr. Chair, we have to refer to the uh, loan agreements. No, you don't. You don't. Because pina-approve po yan sa board resolution ninyo. 
to for two minutes. Sinabi ninyo, ma'am, hindi na ako makapagbayad to eh. Kaya po, at ito po yung wala po silang collateral, so we now go to the spam. Uh, I, Mr. Chair, to the BSP. Di ba, ma'am, Kobe, ganun po yung proseso ng banko? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, it is. In fact, if I may inject po, uh, provision of the SPV Act, it says there that the notification requirements, I'm sorry, for the um, eligible NPAs or non-performing assets to be enrolled by a particular financial institution, a certification has to be issued by a senior uh, officer of a bank attesting to the following. Sir, pertinent po to your uh, line of uh, thought now, a notification requirement to the borrowers has been complied with and a maximum of 90-day period for renegotiation or restructuring has been complied with. So, sir, aligned with that, yes, uh, the the um, going back to the collaterals that supports the loan is uh, one is the first step towards the recovery of a particular loan that has gone sour. Thank you, Ms. Kube. Mr. Chair, uh, I will rest my case for the moment, but I'm I'm very sure of the uh, the basis for what happened as regards yung pong pagbigay ng DBP sa special purpose vehicle. But Mr. Chair, for our purposes, baka po pwede nga kahit na yung board minutes at yung uh, memo from legal kasi sila po yung nag-aral doon eh. Not Attorney Adjong. I'm not particularly referring to Attorney Adjong ha. Pero yung ginawa po ng inyong department. Kasi gumawa po yun ang pag-aaral, nag-gumawa kayo ng letter, sinulatan nyo sila, hindi kayo nagbabayad, tapos syempre, uh, i-call nyo yung collateral. Pag, uh, ewan ko, what, what, what happened? kung bakit hindi nagkaroon ng ganitong proseso or if hindi na talaga nyo magawa at that time at naging non-performing loan na po yun. So again, Mr. Chair, kinaklarify ko po, hindi po yun yung DBP ngayon. But ito po yung kailangan sagutin. Paano nakapasok ang mga loans na to sa SPAB without the eligibility of the BSP? Yung po ba ay, ako po, posisyon ko po dyan, kailangan nagkaroon ng BSP certification. Okay. And number two, yung pong before the call. Bakit siya napasok sa special purpose vehicle? Ginawa niya ba niya at inexhaust niya yung means para this in this particular collateral? Because in this, Mr. Chairman, makikita natin yung sinasabing bakit nagkaroon ng pananaw na masyadong napagbigyan. Ng pananaw na, in effect, written of photo. In effect, eh, hindi to binayaran. So thank you, Mr. Chair, for this opportunity. At kung ano po yung motion later on, I will support the wisdom and decision of the chair. Thank you, Pop.